booby trap is meant to turn the safe into the unsafe. Even in victory, you've got a tremendous psychological advantage and you touch a piece of captured enemy armor, bang, you get your hand blown off. Booby traps get their name from a docile marine bird called a booby that was so dim-witted, it just walked into sailors' traps. But there's nothing dumb about a booby trap. They are the ultimate psychological weapon, specifically designed to maim and kill when the soldier thinks he's safe. You don't know whether or not the, the weapon in the corner has been booby trapped. You pick it up, it blows up. And it plays with your mind, and that's why it's done. It's, it's to cause fear and uncertainty with the enemy. Booby traps are improvised weapons made from the materials the soldier has to hand. Mines, grenades, demolition charges, artillery shells. A booby trap can utilize virtually any munition to provide an explosive punch. The key to a booby trap is a lure. Unlike minefields sown in numbers, booby traps are one-offs, hiding in the most familiar and ordinary situations. A place like this could be absolutely safe, or it could be deadly. They lull a soldier into a false sense of security. They turn his curiosity into his enemy. Anything that looks enticing can be opened, closed, or picked up can be made into a death trap. Anything can be booby trapped. A door can be booby trapped, a chair can be booby trapped. You name it, you're only limited by your imagination as to what can be booby trapped. And it's the human imagination combined with explosives and a trigger that is crucial to a booby trap's effectiveness. The more devious the mind, the more unexpected the trap and the more successful it will be. You've got to have a level of fiendish imagination to think up ever newer, ever more subtle, ever more twisted ways of turning that potential destruction into real destruction. Due to deficiencies in early explosives and firing devices, it wasn't until the 20th century that effective widespread booby trapping became viable. Frequently, the cheapest and simplest devices are used. Booby traps are the ultimate nuisance weapon, perfect for an army on the back foot or a force that has a military disadvantage. Simple, cheap, and fatal. The side that uses booby traps is normally the folks that are on the defensive. You're trying to slow folks down. It's also the weaker side. It's, it's a weapon of the weak, not a weapon of the strong. Whilst retreating through Europe during World War I and World War II, the Germans defined modern booby trapping techniques. Combining munitions with firing devices and trip wires that work through simple physical principles such as pulling, application of pressure, and release of pressure, they established the basic tenets of dirty warfare. One of the most common booby traps encountered by Allied troops in World War II used a pull firing device, munition, and a tripwire. This is M2 frag fitted with a pull switch. Now what I'm going to do is fix a piece of fishing line to the split ring here so that when the door opens it will pull the, uh, the firing pin and it would have, if this was a live M2 frag, it would detonate the M2 frag. What you do is you would, um, you would attach your fishing line to some point on the door there, anchor the grenade down here so that you've got it ready to, ready to be tugged over. Now what's going to happen is a guy is going to come through the door, he's going to open it. The guy pulls it, that goes, he's through the door and this is exploding. You are well within the lethal range when that happens. Combined with a devious imagination, the simple pull technique could be applied to virtually any object as the British found to their cost in Northwest Europe in World War II. The Germans would put a picture askew, thinking that Joe Squatty, when he came into the room, could care less. But officers, being gentlemen, would see the thing, and there's something in the human mind about wanting to straighten the picture. So an officer would come and straighten the picture and blow himself up. 
With the development of pull pin frag grenades, another booby trapping technique became widespread, pressure release. 